Sir Bruce Forsyth died at the age of 89 in 2017 at his Wentworth estate home. His widow, Will Neelia, has admitted that although she agrees the former Strictly Come Dancing host's incredible life should be documented, it will have to wait for a better time in the future. It has been five years since the iconic entertainer died, but his widow is still moving through the stages of grief. Lady Forsyth told the Daily Mail that she is not yet ready to see Sir Bruce on the big screen in a biopic. This isn't to say she hasn't had many opportunities to place him there. She said, we have had a few approaches from film production companies about doing a biopic about Bruce's life. But I've turned them down as I don't think it's the right time. However, fans shouldn't give up all hope of seeing the Strictly star's life on film. The former Miss World added, maybe in the future we'll do it, as Bruce lived such an incredible life. His incredible legacy still continues, as his impact is seen across British entertainment. Having spent almost half a century in the business of television, Sir Bruce still holds the Guinness World Record for the longest television career for a male entertainer. Throughout his extravagant career, Sir Bruce also had a thriving personal life, accumulating six children, nine grandchildren and three wives. Sir Bruce was first married to Penny Calvert in 1953, just before he came to national attention through the variety show Sunday Night at the London Palladium. The entertainer had three daughters with Penny before they got divorced in 1973 and married the Generation Game host Anthea Redfern in the same year. Don't miss, together. Sir Bruce and Anthea had two daughters before they divorced six years later. In 1980, at the age of 52, Sir Bruce was asked to judge the Miss World competition where he met the 1975 winner Will Neelia Merced, who was 23 at the time. Sir Bruce and Lady Forsyth got married in 1983 and had one son together, Jonathan. Although the entertainer had plenty of progeny, he left almost all of his 11 pounds. 5 million fortune to his wife at the time of his death according to the Daily Mail, including his stately home. Will Neelia managed to sell the house just before lockdown hit in 2020, noting that his absence weighed too heavily in the silence. She told the outlet at the time, it was hard to leave a place with so many happy memories for me and my family, but I think they all understand. It was sometimes sad to be in such a home without Bruce. The outlet also reported that he had left nothing to his six children, but had placed £100,000 in a trust fund to be split between his nine grandchildren.